chapter of my welding cart build and uh, just putting the PVC uh, little rod holders together and I got this idea from Jody at Welding Tips and Tricks and if you haven't seen the video I'll put a link to it or a, kind of a little um, instructional video on how to build these but um, yeah got those going they worked out real well and um, you know from this part point it was just kind of putting the basic pieces together there and um, while I was doing the PVC I painted the frame but yeah uh, this kind of ended up being the longest bit which I'll get into in uh, here just a little bit but nothing much more frustrating than almost being finished and having to uh, you know, wait then for the next day to get the parts to get the job finished up Finally got this beast done and only took five or six weeks, but I don't know. All in all, I'm pretty, um, pretty happy with it and uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well like everything that I wanted it to be and uh, some parts of it got a little over the top and it took definitely longer than I would have hoped, but I don't, I don't know. I really like it. I think it's pretty functional. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's just take a closer look at it and probably start with I don't know start with the uh, we'll start with the front and just work our way around all right so we got the uh, little oh cable holder spool devices I guess you could say or uh, basically just the um, the four inch PVC painted it black Put some Gorilla Tape around the outside edge there, just because figured it would, you know, wear the paint right off pretty quick. So, um, but basically just some some uh, 160 millimeter disc brake rotors that I had just taken up space in my toolbox. So, use those, and then uh, I've got a bag full of these things that I from a place I used to work. These are actually little prototype pieces for the old uh, New Vinci hubs, but uh, use that to attach the rotor and then it you know that little center section worked pretty good for a little a head or a little a head top cap there and um, yeah that worked pretty good you know and just secured it up drilled the hole through the back end there and um, you know use those I thought it looked kind of cool and you know just some random stuff that I had on hand um, but you know got the torch holder and then the ground one um, you know, to make it work pretty good. And then I got my little rod holders there. Just painted them black and, you know, in the back. And then here, this is all just put some Gorilla Tape on it. For, you know, figured it'd be something I'm, you know, having to uh, take on and off. So, you know, seemed pretty, pretty decent. Some stainless steel bolts. That was the little nut that I welded inside of there to, you know, just give it something a little more security, you know. Maybe a, uh, I don't know, anti-theft device. Or there, although they, you know, somebody wanted to rip it off, they could just roll it away. But I don't know. You know, we've been having a lot of earthquakes here, so maybe it'll keep the machine from vibrating off or something. Right, this side, pretty straightforward. Got my you know, foot pedal there, and uh, you know, another little spool type device there, rotor and such, so pretty straightforward. I just, um, you know, those are folded in. I riveted the uh, sides there and, you know, rivet on the top and bottom. You know, if I was going to do it again, I'd probably put a, put some others that's, I don't know, it's kind of sinks in a little there, sticks out a little there, but, you know, not a huge deal, but got my little Red line fork style uh, bottle hold downs there, and uh, you know, kind of worked out kind of nice. You can wrap, you know, the excess as far as the argon uh, tube there works pretty nice. Just to 
wrap it around the edge there so that's kind of where I've got that and got my uh, wheels on pretty straightforward um, got the little two two plates on either end made some little brackets underneath but it's four rivets on there per plate and uh, I don't know the rivet thing kind of ended up being a little bit of a fiasco bought a cheap rivet gun from Harbor Freight and I don't know it made it about I don't know 10 rivets and then it bit the dust so uh, yeah this morning I I worked on it for a while and last night and so this morning I made a little trip to the Home Depot that's my little rivet gun that I well, cheapy Harbor Freight one in and it's got like a rivet stuck inside of there and tried to take it apart as much as I could but I just could not get that thing out and so basically it's I don't know may screw with this thing later but um, ended up just getting a good one went to Home Depot and got this DeWalt one here and you know that another one that was a Stanley one that was 20 bucks and then a kind of a Stanley one that looked similar to this for 10 I think I paid five for that but I ended up paying like 22 bucks for this thing you know it's kind of nice got the swivel head it's got a lifetime warranty but I think as this and will probably last me for the duration but I don't know sometimes it's you know if a cheap tool works great and everything that's fine but you know when it kind of craps out on you right at the end of a project or it's sort of a bummer so whatever got it done got a nice tool now so yeah basic concept of the little toolbox underneath you know I worked out pretty well got all my some random stuff consumables and whatnot uh, extra torch and stuff stashed underneath there the uh, you know kind of the thing with the studs on the uh, wheels you know I know a lot of guys that uh, just weld the casters on and you know the argument being well it's just as quick to grind and put new ones on if need be or just just as quick to do that as the bolt them but I don't know I kind of disagree with that you know, I can I'd bolt those things and take them off of there in probably one or two minutes and bolt some new ones on and I don't have to you know if I weld new ones back on then you don't have to re screw with the paint take all the you know do a bunch of extra stuff so you know it's a lot quicker if you have to replace them or just for whatever reason probably never will you know everything else that I've put casters on I've yet to have to replace anything but you know, kind of same thing with the back wheels I've got the uh, the rear axle just slips through you know kind of rests on the bottom of the frame so it's supported pretty well but um, you know pull the pin you can pull the wheels and the axle and everything off at one time so just kind of was trying to think it through and you know for had to be worked on at a later time or just whatever and then last little finishing touch you know put a little I've got a little gusset here for you know there's not a support for this corner and you know it's still that thing is you know it's solid you know it's definitely not going anywhere but I put an extra gusset there just in case and put a little bottle opener there just as a little finishing touch and I'd pop a beer in there if I had one right now but well, I've got some cans so yeah that's uh, I guess that's gonna wrap it up um, if you've watched the whole video or the whole series thanks for watching um, and if you're not already a subscriber go ahead and feel free to subscribe I'm constantly making videos like this or similar or all kinds of stuff so uh, yeah anyways yeah thanks for watching